All right, I got some of the wiring done. Thought I'd go over that a little bit. Let's take a look inside. As I talked about before, uh, the PV wires will come in, the grounds go up to this ground bu bus bar for the PV, go around this hinge, and then go down and pick up each of these switches. On one side of the switch, we'll go down to this bus bar, basically driving current up through this ammeter and around and down to the charge controller. One thing that uh, I can point out is <clears throat> since I got to go around a curve here, I need a pretty heavy gauge uh, to do that because we'll be actually providing up to maybe uh, close to 50 amps at times or a little less than that from the PV. <clears throat> I had to use a pretty flexible wire instead of some stiffer stuff. So I doubled up on some of this 10 gauge high temp uh, wire to make it around that hinge. And you can see how you need a little bit of a service loop to get around that corner so that it has a place to fold up when you uh, when you close it. So it's pretty important to do. I'll have to do that same thing when I get the PV cables in here, which won't happen until I do the final installation. Otherwise, uh, just heavy wire going. Uh, this is the wire bundle that go over to the charge controller, which has to be right next door in the, uh, in the installation. So they'll go up through this hole here and then there's just basically two hard hold down for the PV input, two hard hold down for the battery out. So the battery out comes out, comes back into here. This is the uh, <clears throat> battery out positive through the, through the uh, fuse then down to here and then this will be the positive down to the battery. <clears throat> negative coming up from the battery comes in here through the shunt and here's their major major ground for the system as I mentioned. Now these are uh, two twisted pair that go up to the uh, trimetric and they show you in the diagram how to do that. If you use the trimetric shunt it has the uh, the screw terminals on the side there so you don't have to actually make a lug for a uh, some of this low voltage connections, but basically they're trying to pick up and measure what the current is across the shunt to determine the amp hours used or supplied. So otherwise, everything's worked out pretty well. Uh, just wait for a day that's gray where I can turn the panels off, get the rest of this wired up. Wasn't too hard to do, maybe about four hours work. Talk to you later.